In this demo, we're going to look at vFabric Hyperic and how it can help you as a developer while you're doing performance tests against your application during development. For a developer with typical tools, it's tough to get a sense of how the application is impacting the machine itself while running the tests. One of the things we'll see today is how Hyperic HQ can give you that additional visibility. The first thing we'll do is drill into our application server where we're running a version of Tomcat called TC Server. From here, we'll look at one of the applications that we've deployed. As you can see, you can deploy out applications and tune server configurations all from one management GUI. We have an application loaded on this web server called swf.booking.mvc. We're going to use Hyperic to monitor both the application as well as the machine where everything runs off while running one of our load tests. We have JMeter set up on another machine that will test it remotely. It's configured to simulate 100 users ramping up in about a minute and looping forever a series of tests, running searches, page loads, queries, and all kinds of different things. We're going to let this test run for a while. We can see here that it's loading the home page, testing logins, showing hotels, all kinds of things that we would typically do while we were testing our application. At this point, we've let our load test run. Let's go back to Hyperic and take a look at how that load test affected performance for both the application and for the machine it's sitting on top of. The Hyperic agent is able to monitor most Java-based containers through JMX or PMI, depending on what kind of application container you're using. There are low-level, deep-dive metrics for anything that might be exposed at the JMX level, even your own custom beans if you've got them. Here, we're looking at a very high level. We're looking at things like the amount of CPU time, and the amount of heap that the JVM is using. We can see here that the heap stays fairly consistent, while we can see that the JVM for this application is particularly CPU sensitive as we're spiking up to almost a full minute, pretty much 100% of the CPU time for it to run during this load test. If we go down here, we can see other metrics that might be useful in helping us diagnose some of the performance bottlenecks at the application level. We've looked at a very high level what the JVM is doing. Now we're looking at a machine at the operating system level, and you can see a strong correlation with what happens between normal performance for the application server and what happens while we're running the load test in terms of the resource utilization at the OS level. Typically, this is something that is difficult to see with conventional tools because there's not the ability to see all this in one single pane of glass. Now, what you can do from here is something that's very unique to Hyperic. You can tick off any of the things that you see over here on the left, the applications or components that are on the machine, and add those things to the graph. We've done that and pre-configured a view that we call Stack View. From this view, we have the ability to go down this page and see exactly how things such as the load test on the machine affects the load average, the disk I.O., and the application-specific metrics. Essentially, what you are able to see is any of the metrics that Hyperic collects for this machine or for a group of machines all in one page. This gives you a better sense of how your application and infrastructure perform in a load test environment, allowing you to tune them before you send them into production.